Alright, uh, symmetric difference quotient is the topic for this video. Um, take a look at the symmetric difference quotient and then we'll, I'll try to elaborate on what the meaning of this is. Okay, it looks, it resembles the difference quotient formula that we're very familiar with. Okay, so f of a plus h minus the f of a all over h. Um, so just graphically speaking, okay, I'll do a quick graph on the side right here. Not very pretty, but this will do. This will have to do. So let's say you have a curve. And then you're interested in finding the slope of the tangent line at a point. Let's say A. And the difference quotient that we know is a point A right there. So your x value is A right there. And the difference between the, that point and the next point that you're using is h. And then as a result, f of a is your first y value, and f of a plus h is your second value. And the slope between these two points is simply f of a plus h minus f of a all over a plus h minus a. And then Therefore, the A's cancel out, and then you have H right there. But, okay, as these two points converge, as these two points converge, or I should say, as the second point gets closer to this, the first point, by, with the H value becoming zero, then you could approximate the slope of the tangent line at x equals A. Um, symmetric difference quotient, however, similar idea. So let me undo all this. But the idea for the symmetric difference quotient is this. Okay, instead of dealing with just the point A and with the point F of A, or X equals A and X equals A plus H, you're introduced with another point right there. Okay, namely, we call it a minus h. So it's the same distance away to the left side. And then instead of finding the slope between these two points, instead of that, we're finding the slope in between these two points right there. So let's take a look at the corresponding y values. We have f of a minus h over here, and we have f of a plus h. And to find the slope through those two points, again, it's just a bias of a run. So f of a plus h minus f of a minus h divided by a plus h minus a minus h. And then that becomes your symmetric difference quotient formula right there. And then ideally speaking, we want once again for this one. We want the limit of h to be as close to zero as possible. Okay, we want the limit, we want the h to be approaching zero, I should say. And on my next clip, I'll talk about why we need to know about this formula. We need to learn about this formula.